Hello, fellow administrators. After some talk with a few followers and members from the main Discord server, I understood that you guys needs things made more detailed and simpler instead of just implementing the rough structure of the character and letting you guys discover by yourselves. So here comes the reworked version. This guide is focused on independently of stage buffs towards characters like Chaos Abyss mode and offers a more generic setup and as well in structure more easy to use avoid you guys feeling hard to play as Jin Wu. I must say that I saw a lot of questions regarding Bird, and despite not saying, apparently she's one of my mains since I use her a lot. This guide will follow the structure of development as informed below. Take into consideration that at any moment you can try to change any warp setup or even consider sigils, ether codes, and warps that weren't recommended in specific placements once you manage to reach a better understanding of the game this guide is meant to create easy managements for players to enjoy characters and at same time have a good result on score for leaderboards. Let's talk about Jin Wu. Bird is one of the first characters to be released from the Tian Yuan's faction. Despite being a fire element, she's the first to use aerial combat in Aether Gauzer and is extremely easy to manage once you get the hang of her kit. Press her skill 3 to fly and keep pressing her normal attack or dodge to keep flying. Also, when in flying mode, her normal attack damage counts as skill damage. To spend the marks obtained in both ground and flying modes, use skill 1. Bird, as any other character, has three ether codes, but you'll only consider to use two of them. Yellow is our first code to be worked. As you can see through the images to help understanding the right line, yellow doesn't sound to be the most rewarding code because of how complicated it sounds after reading the third line. After all, Crit rate is an important asset to have, and if you don't have enough crit rate, the chance of dealing crit damage is highly lowered. However, we can take advantage of this situation and change the problem in our favor. If you guys remember my first version of this guide, Bird Sig Key is the best option for yellow ether code, and if you read closely the description, each time she reaches nine marks, it's equal to one stack that'll give, in priority, crit rate. So, if you use her crit rate from Sig Key, combined with 8 in chance of crit rate, and as well with the Griffin Sigil set, we can farm a good result here. Please observe the demonstration. So, after you saw the big damage being dealt, please, let's check out the second most important thing to deal once we solve the crit rate problem. How to fast stack in short time Bird Sig Key. According to each rank of Sig Key, Bird can automatically obtain when flying or going to ground after flying, and specific amount of marks, then resulting in us needing to work through her skills to reach the full nine marks. Bird's normal attacks give marks in the lasting moves and skill two can give marks as well. However, to precisely get the stacks, you need to spend the marks once obtained nine and that's where skill one in both modes of combat takes action because it can spend marks. Skill three can spend marks too once you enter in flying mode. So now, here comes a list of combos for you to follow and get the most optimal result in fast stacking to easily reach nine stacks instead of broken amounts. The easiest combos to do are listed below, alongside with the mid difficult and as well of those with the hard difficult. Blue ether code, there's nothing to be talked about this code because as you can see, this code literally impairs its own mechanic and there's not a true optimal method to make this useful when compared to yellow or red ether codes. You can try to use the combos previously mentioned, but you'll need to avoid spending the marks too much through the rotation, which can result in a problem of the full rotation. Red ether code. This is your daily use ether code. While yellow is mainly used for hard content, red is the best to use for easy or content, daily stuff, and even can be considered in hard content as well because of how easy it is to use. In terms of combos, you can just use the same combos used for yellow, but you'll need Sig Key to justify the need of combos. The reason is that red can be safely used without any combo, and you mostly playing with bird through normal attacks and rotations between skills one and two. Between yellow and red, yellow deals more damage in the ending result if you manage to properly utilize it, but red is more easy to use and you can safely use the gen zone key for Tianyuan. And since we're already talking about keys options, I highly recommend that you pay attention to the information below. 
As I've informed before, SIG key is mainly recommended for yellow, while Gen Zone is recommended for red ether code, allowing you to pick SIG key for another character who really needs it, like Gang, Ling, or Lu Liang. The four-star SIG key, Shui Hu, is only recommended as an extreme filler situation, or you plan to use Jin Wu as third member in team. Of course, the best ones are the two previous options, and the following builds of sigils are picked to fit both. The first recommendation setup is for yellow. Bird as fire elemental character requires the new fire sigil set, Sun. As second set, it's necessary to use Griffin because of the crit rate benefit from it. For Omega placements, both Owl and Fleece are okay options. But, as I said on the image, yes, you can consider Roland as third placements, but Roland requires a lot of investment, since the effect will only works when in modifying mode, which means that your team as well requires investment to rush the green bar. Besides, Nibel can be considered too, but it's not that optimal if you already have Ling with it, because Bird needs the most amount of damage possible to be used. The only difference between yellow and red setups is that yellow requires Griffin, while red requires Acheron. But at all costs, please avoid the idea of Philo's sigil set. On warps, there's nothing much to say. These suggestions are general setups meant to make your life easier and adapted to each type of gameplay. Also, please, you can safely consider the use of Savage even with Ling, but the main reason that currently I say no Ling when you use Savage is because you'll mostly use Hera as the third member for this comp until you get Geng Chen. About short battles, take into consideration that it's a bursting build to make battlers a lot easier and avoid the need of combos, making you freely able to play without any complications. Now, before we conclude this guide, here is the best enchant suggestions for Bird. Bird is not in complicated character if we exclude the need of her combos to make her optimal. Regarding team compositions, Bird's optimal team is a full Tianyuan team, specifically composed by Ling Guang and Geng Chen. If you don't have Geng Chen, use Hera as filler unit. Ling Guang is priority for a suited team with Bird as your main DPS. But, in case of you guys asked to me which SIG key I should prioritize between Bird, Ling, and Gang, my answer is obvious, Geng Chen. I'll do a specific guide per Ling and Gang later. Currently, I need to finish my full animations videos and as well post Lu W's guide and start the Ether Gazer's radio patch summary, as many of you asked. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this guide, and don't forget that you can ask any questions in the comments. Be careful with the misinformation being spread, and share as well with me how you guys are doing with Chaos Abyss. That's all for now, dear administrators. Until next time.